seconds, 95-89, New York. Indiana will have the ball. Is it time for uh, the Market Square faithful to see Reggie Miller pull another miracle as he has so many times? The amazing thing is how quiet they are right now. Six points, they're acting like the team has already lost. they got to bring the team back to life here. Well, what you don't want if you're the New York Knicks is they give up a quick score. They give a foul outside Childs on that play. That's oh. something you didn't want to happen. Mark Jackson is going to go to the free throw line. You wanted Indiana to have to use all of the 24 seconds to get a score. And that's five fouls on Chris Child. Derek McKee sitting out with the fouls. He's had four in the first half, not been a factor ever since. This would foul by Childs. This would be the first point other than from Miller and Smith. Oh, how do you expect to win if you miss free throws? Mark Jackson with a miss. Now Dudley goes out and Marcus Canby. No, wait. Dudley was halfway to the bench. <laughs> Now they're trying to decide who's going to go out. They're going to get Allen uh, Houston out of the ball game. A lot of confusion right there, but finally they get him off the floor. And they, Dudley's going to stay in. They're trying to get this rebound. They must be planning on calling a timeout. They're not going to leave Dudley in there when the Pacers are in a must-foul situation and Allen Houston goes to the bench. Timeout has to be in order. Want to ensure the rebound first. It doesn't matter. Jackson hits the second free throw, and New York does take the timeout. 46.6. The free throw cuts the New York lead back to five. We'll return to Market Square Arena in a moment. The NBA on NBC. It is a symbol that stands for freedom. Steve Snapper Jones, Jim Gray with our producer Kevin Smolin, director John Gonzalez. Courtside Market Square Arena, game five, 46.6 seconds left. The lead is five for the Knicks. And of course, Reggie Miller is the man the Pacers look to with the game on the line. But in game one of the series, they couldn't get him the ball as New York's tight defensive play didn't allow Reggie to get open. Mark Jackson took the shot to try to tie the game. It missed. New York came away with a win. Then in game two with a score tied, Reggie did get the ball, managed to draw the foul from Chris Childs. Miller hit both free throws to give Indiana the margin of victory in a two-point win that tied the series. Then in game three, again, he was unable to get open. Again, Jackson took the shot that missed. New York got the victory and a 2-1 series lead. Indiana came roaring back to tie it at two. Now here in game five, New York is about to pull the upset once more. Well, does it, Indiana start fouling right away here? Houston, of course, an excellent free throw shooter, and they get the foul. Well, well, that was the New York plan to put it in the hands of a man who can hit the free throws. They wanted two things out of that. One, to get the good free throwers out on the floor and to talk about using as much time as they could in the possession. And what they want from Allen Houston here is two free throws to make it more than a two-possession game. You know, in many ways, this series has been a battle of the benches, and there we saw a big advantage in this one for the New York bench as opposed to game four when it was the Indiana bench. And there's a rare miss by Allen Houston at the free throw line. And now the Pacers don't have to go for the quick three. They can come down and just get twos if Allen Houston or anybody else for the Knicks is going to miss free throws. Houston hits the second one. It's New York 96, Indiana 90. They've come with Derek McKee, who's got to be very, very stiff. What you don't want to do is foul on a three-point shot. McKee short with that. Missed the three. Foul called. Chris Childs over the top. Chris Childs oh. of New York. Uh, uh, that's two crazy fouls by Chris Childs. What is he doing as he fouls out? That's his sixth foul. Childs is out, and the last two were not good ones. Meanwhile, uh, Larry Johnson... 
He's hurt. Uh, he's going to try to stay in the game, but Childs is coming over the back trying to keep that ball alive. What is this little guard thinking coming over these big guys' backs there? He's thinking win, upset. I Go know home that. ahead. But, yeah, so let's make the right decisions. He makes two fouls, puts him on the line here. Dale Davis, an outstanding free throw shooter. <laughs> uh, Larry Johnson is obviously hurt, but he's going to try to stay in the game, and we'll see if Davis gets one of two. That's what they need from him. He's three of six on the night. First one, no good. You've got to stay in the game if you're Larry Johnson. This is what you live for. This is your career. And he came down and uh, it looked like he turned the ankle. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the championship on the line here, Steve. Davis misses them both. Line and violation. A lane violation or line violation. On Allen Houston, they're gonna call it. Well, they're saying that he came in that shooter's face from the rear, trying to keep Reggie Miller from running in and uh, getting a possible miss. Here's the you lane watch, violation. You see him step it. back yeah. in there. That's the right call by yep. Bob Delaney. Careless, New York. Careless with the child's fouls, and now the Houston miscue here down the stretch. One more chance for Davis. Does Davis try to miss? He, <laughs> he didn't have to try. <laughs> <laughs> he just shoots normally. Oh. Gets a five-point game. Charles Sprewell fouled by Jalen Rose. Clock shows 30.7 seconds. Steve, you talked at the very beginning about the experience in Game 5 for the franchises, how the Pacers only one in four in franchise history in Game 5 in seven-game series. The Knicks had an unbelievable, uh, favorable record in that situation. Can you imagine if the Knicks hold on and win this game, what that crowd will be like in Madison Square Garden Friday night? 13 and 6 in these situations, New York Knicks, and Sprewell said, bring it all to me. You want to talk choke, you want to yell, you want to do whatever, bring it all down did to me now. Did you say choke? Yeah, yes, I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what the crowd is chanting. <laughs> you see Sprewell say, bring it. But well, what a turnaround for Sprewell after the disappointment in game four. Starting Sprewell really coming along here. That was his first free throw miss of the game. Dale Davis rebounds. Timeout, Indiana. 30.3 on the clock. Can New York hold on? You're watching the NBA on 